I am DMZone, this is Gamers Oasis, let's get into it. Okay guys, so this is going to be one of my vlog videos. For those of you who are new to the channel and haven't seen this yet, I have a monthly vlog I put out that kind of documents my journey through uh, Entropy Universe and that type of stuff. It's a very interesting, I think, from starting from the very beginning to kind of see how I go through all sorts of mythologies into like a scientific study to mm, a little too nerdy to backing off and enjoying the game more. And then we kind of get into where I started to pay um, and uh, instead of being a free-to-play player. And now I'm into this whole different thing, uh, which is, I think, a, 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 a sort of an interesting new branch. But we'll, we'll get into that probably in a future video as the season of uh, crafting will you'll kind of discover this with me okay so in this last video i talked about with the season of crafting i talked about basic wood extractors let me go and expand a little bit more about what i was talking about there um so uh the video let me actually go one more video back let me go back to the advanced stone extractor and the before that the basic stone extractor where i'm talking about the fact that i got a certain amount of mocot hide and i got a little over two ped of ammo hide and i in the last the second to last video i talked about the fact that okay if you're getting over two ped worth of ammo hide then you're getting enough from those animals in 150 ped spent uh to justify hunting those four animal hide uh, specifically um, and I wanted to go a little bit more into that now so two ped worth of animal hide is 200 plus animal hide which ends up being 60 plus animal leathers which would be 60 clicks on like generic leather that's why I feel like getting over two ped worth of animal hide is justified for me for uh, expending 150 ped cycling i should really say 150 ped to get back that much hide um, you're getting skills you're getting i am a looter or whatever type of looter um, and then you're getting 60 clicks towards your crafting that to me is worth it um, if you're not a crafter that may not be worth it you might need a different reason to go there because you're going to sell the animal hide and guess what animal hide doesn't sell for a lot so everyone's going to have their spectrum of what they're okay with and it's a little bit um uh subjective um by that i mean it's up to you sort of your opinion or the reason why you're doing what you're doing um, in my situation i'm going to be using animal hide so it's good um, if you're not using animal hide and it may not be good um and that's kind of the way i view it with this all right so let me get into that with extractors, like I was talking about in this last video. If you're getting 20 to 50 extractors in a 150 pet hunt, to me, you're doing pretty good. Um, I would obviously prefer more than 50, and you'd be lucky to get more than 50 in a 150 pet. Um, but if you can get 50 a day of an extractor, it does not take very many very many days it doesn't take very long to get that thousand now you're looking at more also if you're a crafter using extractors i hate to tell you unless you're just super dedicated to hunting a very specific mob you're either going to be buying it from your friends or you're going to be buying it off of the auction that's just kind of the bones of it um, when i hunted menorahs for example on the moon and I was a free-to-play player. I hunted menorahs for nine, ten months before I sold extractors. And that nine to ten months, as a free-to-play player, I had built up, I want to say, close to about eight ped worth of extractors between the three types you get there um, off of those. And that was worth it to me and in that time would i do that now if it took that long to get that many no that's not a good use of my time um, the reality is i'm not spending 10 pet a month 20 pet a month hunting i'd be spending 
I'd be doing 150 pet hunts and I'd be getting significantly more. And I, to be honest, I can't imagine what a 150 pet hunt would be like of menorahs. You'd be doing that for ever. That would be like a 150 pet hunt of Mokot Juvies. That is a terrible experience. If that, if you are there to document the process of doing a 150 pet hunt and you're just not waking up every day killing juvies but you're trying to on purpose get mocha juvies not that the hard juvies that is absolutely a terrible experience and the reason why i say that is you have to focus and you have to keep track and do nothing else for like the literal six hours that you're hunting mocots it's a long time of hunting those juvies to get that i would think similarly it would be the same hunting menorahs the main difference with menorahs is you can literally just hit f f f and have auto loop pills on um, and it would be a lot faster because of that and you'd be a lot you wouldn't have to pay as much attention because there's not a second creature there you could hunt um, technically there is there's males and females and they do drop different things but you just be hunting uh, menorahs. Um, I actually am almost on repeat on menorahs. That's how much I hunted as a free-to-play player. Uh, menorahs was, I'm like, codex level 23. So I really put a lot of work in over two and a half years of hunting men uh, menorahs on the moon. I, that's not even, that is not even menorahs on Arcadia planet. That is strictly hunting menorahs on the moon with that tax. But the, there's reasons why I did that made it worth it. Okay. So let me get into um, a little bit, something else that's been working its way around me. Um, I'm doing a lot of hunting uh, red pepu and doing the, um, the tree harvesting mission on next Island. I'm going to be have a video on that specifically um, coming up here very soon. Um, I talked about it in my Red Papu video about you'll see me out there for the next six months, and that is not a f false statement. I will be um, out there. Whether I'm doing the Red Papu or just doing tree harvesting, I'm not sure. There are other places that I... Um, there's a live Red Papu in those bamboo. Okay. What are some of the reasons and where would you do tree harvesting? I have now tree harvested on Tulum and done the mission there. Um, the wood uh, cutter helper or whatever it is on that little island. I have done the one on Plant Cyrene and I have done the one on Next Island. Um, and I have done some of those multiple times. Um, I personally feel that the most amount of good tree harvesting where you don't have to worry about monsters is on plant sirene. Um, it allows you just to go out and collect and it's perfect collecting. Um, you can start and continue essentially and never run out of trees. Um, on Next Island, there are places you can collect trees where there are not monsters um, but a large portion of it um, is going to be around other mobs whether it's boars or papu there's just a lot of them i will say there are more places to hunt or to harvest trees on next island probably than on any of the uh, places i've listed so far um, all these places drop the same type of board. So if you're trying to do, no, no, maybe butt joints on Toulon, uh, you can get all those pieces of wood you need from Toulon, from um, uh, Cyrene, and from Next Island. If you were in incredibly ambitious, you could uh, do the Cyrene and the uh, next island back to back to back to back and then somehow get that over to Toulon or wherever you want to do or do crafting on those two locations uh, for those things and you would be really pumping out the carpentry at that point in time 
Um, I do not think that is necessarily a bad idea. Um, I don't have that kind of time. Um, I am currently on vacation in this moment, so I have, as you can tell by my beard right now, uh, I have the ability to do that to some degree, but I don't have the ability to uh, really do that. Um, you'd have to almost be like a single young person to be able to do two 10,000 click or harvested trees in a week. Um, um, and really it's every two weeks because it's a week and then you have to wait a week. You're not doing this in the day. Um, you could do this in a couple days. Um, so it'd be like seven to 10 days probably. But if you just did a nice leisurely, I'm doing too long or I'm doing a sirene, I'm doing next island. I'm doing sirene, I'm doing next island. You could have a nice little rotation of tree harvesting. What is the benefit of tree harvesting? You've heard a lot of people talk about uh, tree harvesting and it has all sorts of benefits because it gives you all these skills. Let me correct that just a little bit. So what it does is it raises the micro skills specifically within ammo looter and in the investigation skills. Um, those are pretty powerful. It also raises a lot of the skills that you need for mining. It also does things within uh, the combat skills, but it really kind of focuses more on the little skills uh, within those three areas, the, the looter, the investigation, and the mining. And the reason why uh, people say this is such a great thing to get into is because these are the skills you have the least amount of points in. These are the micro skills that clicking on a corpse of a body to get your looter skill uh, doesn't necessarily give you on any sort of regular rate. So when you look at your ammo looter, take for example, and you look at the skills that fall within that, you're gonna be like, oh, now I get it. Um, botany, biology, genetics, analytics, all these things are really low. Like I'm level, you know, 10 and I have double digit, you know, botany skill. You know, like, why is that skill not going up? It's because you're not doing this other thing. Um, unlike scanning, which is very similar, it's more targeting the investigator side of things. Most people are not going to care anything about that. That has to do with the, uh, the control pills. Um, this is not an activity the majority of entropians will ever do, uh, let alone do on a daily or weekly, monthly basis. They might... Uh, adventure into it once or twice and be like ah, that's cool and then move on until they enhance this or do more with it um, I don't really feel like you're going to see a lot of people wanting to really push their ammo investigator skill up however um, when you get into higher levels you're going to want to do scanning because that focuses very specifically on key um, skills that you cannot get through looting. These are the robotology, the xenobiology, the hidden skills that come much farther along. Uh, and you're gonna to want to be doing this later. Personally, I'm going to wait until I unlock those and then I'm going to do scanning. Um, I'm going to do tree harvesting now because it raises a bunch of things and go ahead and get those skills up so that I eventually will unlock the hidden skills. So that's why I do what I do. That and I'm working towards something specifically with carpentry, which I'm going to be doing significantly later. I'll get more into that later. We're looking at plan where season three is going to be for this uh, crafting. And the reason why I, I, I've not started shooting for season three, but I kind of, I need to, because I'm out of ped, that this is going to go into this, I'm going to need, I'm going to need to start planning this. So of course, after season three, we have season four. And season four is when I'm, I should have uh, my uh, machinery high enough that I'm like, 
my test is complete. I've reached what I've wanted. I now under, have this understanding that I'm pushing to, to get, like the talked about uh, a scientific approach in some of the prior videos or more of a mythology type of approach. This is going to give me the scientific basis to stay this about this subject. Um, and when I get there, then I'm actually going to be doing stuff that involves uh, things outside of component building and outside of texture. Um, I do have aspirations beyond that, but not yet. Right now, um, we're looking at stuff bigger. I can tell you, I have plans way out there. Um, one of my seasons of crafting, I literally want to do, whether it's on, probably will not be on Toulon. It probably will be done on Arcadia. But I literally want to go and craft like 30,000 welding wire. Oof. That would be an insane amount of welding wire. And it's not going to be a lot of crafting. Um, but that's going to be part of like the crescendo. Because everyone's going to know how much pet it was put into that. But what the rest of the other videos for that season of crafting will be. Will be uh, limited runs. Uh, uh, runs on limited blueprints. Um, and it will be a huge pet expense. And then to the background stuff, hunting, the goal is uh, I would literally just have um, runs of, uh, I spent 150 pet of welding wire. And you'll know where I got the 150, pet, 50, blah, 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 the 150 pet of welding wire because it was in the first couple season of crafting videos. Um, and I have no idea how much that would be. But I guarantee you it'd be more than 150 ped worth of welding wire. If I can only get 150 ped worth of welding wire, then I'm, you're going to see a, I, I, and I'm doing it live, you're going to see a very, very sad person. If I only get 150 ped worth of welding wire, you won't actually see the rest of that season because I won't release it. I'll be done. Uh, that's uh, that's mind arc breaking me at that point in time. I, I was looking up actually how much it would be for a 30,000 run of uh, welding wire and not including markup, if my math was right, it was 21,875 ped. <laughs> that is an insane amount of ped. I am nowhere near that. I have no idea how that's going to come around. If I hit Hoff, obviously, I, I can just do that, uh, like a big hoff. But, you know, Mindark hasn't given me a big hoff. I'm just waiting for that, Mindark. I will put it back in in this way because this is a, a thing. Um, but I'm kind of going at this whole thing, and I can say this safely because no one else can do this. I'm already too far along into it. Um, I'm kind of going at this backwards. Uh, most people go into vehicle structure repair, and then they show the benefits of that. I wanted to show getting my unlock skills differently um, and then going into vehicle structure repair. Why would I spend that amount of head to go after that thing? The, the reason why I would do that is I hope in the process of this, that all my other skills will be high enough and that everything will be there that, and we're talking literally years away and I'll probably, or five years from now, whatever, come back to this video and be like, see, I said in this day that this could happen. And I don't know why I went all like, anyways, with that accent, but I want to unlock intuition through the vehicle structure. It's gives you the most amount of intuition back, which is also used in uh, evade or the evader profession. Um, so it's not one of those really big skills that's used all over the place. I'm, I'm assuming by the time I get 5,000 points of engineering and so many other points and uh, 5,000 5, in machinery. And then I have started to go into carpentry and tailoring and these things in my material constructor. And I am pushing my way into these other things. 
I'm assuming that um, my vehicle structure will be going up just like through osmosis. I talked about uh, the fact that uh, color goes up slower and everything else because you don't ever do anything with it. Uh, vehicle structure repair is similar, but it's not. It's, it's, it's a skill that goes up. Um, so it's going to be, you know, I don't know, maybe halfway there, a third of the way there. And then when I actually go and drop, my assumption is probably 15 to 18,000 ped into uh, welding wire. would be my guess. Maybe a little more. Uh, probably close to 15,000 ped and welding wire. And then I have to buy all the RKs that go with it. By the time I'm done with everything, I'm hoping that I will be high enough that I can actually get intuition and actually unlock some of the points in intuition and push everything up. So that's like very long. That's my five-year goal. Um, now that I'm starting to put money into this. Um, and that's why I'm kind of like, all right, so how much do I really want to do this? How long do I want to wait? Do I want to wait 10 years to be able to unlock intuition? Um, and then really make a big push on the rest of the game. Um, where am I with this? Um, and I feel like that's kind of where I am. I don't, I, if I don't put the pet I need into it and, and I'm not smart with my investment, I'll never see that even in five years. And I'll explain further points as we go in other videos. Uh, next week, we're going to have uh, advanced uh, wood extractors. So look forward to that. Um, and we're going to continue on with these extractors. Not all of the season one videos will be about extractors, but I will cover every extractor in season one. So we're going to get some real in-depth looks at a very specific thing, which I feel like is very important overall to the crafting community. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys like it. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments down below. Um, I'm kind of working on some different ideas where maybe I split the hunting away from the crafting and do two separate videos. And then we have shorter videos. If you think that is a good idea, let me know specifically that in the video. If you watched this far along into the video, I kind of put more into that than I do a person who just randomly comments on Facebook or whatever. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy the video. Talk to you guys later. See you guys next video. Keep her in that pet.